What's going on my fellow elegant savages? So I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I really wanted to just pay my respect and really just have a moment of silence. Uh, there's so many lives lost in the black community every single year, not just George Floyd, Breonna Taylor. Those are just the names that we heard about. Still so many lives lost that will never get that coverage and, you know, never, never get that respect and time or even justice brought to their situation but this is not a political video obviously we're here to talk about beards but i wanted to start with that because i took last week off uh there was just so much going on in the world and so many things that really took precedent and taking my attention uh so many different ways i feel like i could use my platform and really get out there and help and donate and do what i can do um, and it's something I'll be doing long term as well, something I've been doing, but I'm going even extra hard now. But like I said, without further ado, I took last week off. So last week would have been week four and we are now on week five of this beer journey. Trust me, you all did not miss too much of anything because I'm trudging along here, but I'm moving kind of slow. So let's go ahead and look at my gains. But real quick, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I'm doing and what my procedure is. So I'm still using minoxidil, but I'm not using it at night anymore. I came up with that decision in my last video. I decided to stick with it. Um, there were certain nights where I would use it maybe two to three hours before bed and I would be fine, right? As long as I didn't use it too close to bed. Now I thought to myself, you know what, especially being a trainer, it's not worth putting my health at jeopardy in any kind of way. So now I only use it once a day, I use it in the morning and I have zero side effects. At night, I use that Copenhagen grooming product. I use the beard activator um, and I followed up with a moisturizer after that and that's all I do at night. So this is week five right now. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And you know, we gotta start with the strong side first. Let me get some focus here, going the wrong way. So this is the strong side. And I know y'all like, give yourself some grace here, but guys, I just feel like this is not that much. Some people might be like, it is. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, one thing I did when I lined up my hair, I think was it two weeks, a week ago, something like that. Um, I extended, so if you notice here, it used to be like a pencil um, sideburn. So it used to come in here and cut all the way in. But what I want to do long term with my beard is have it come up and I want a high beard line, right? So I want to go ahead and start growing it in that way. I knew like I could probably get it to go down here and be thicker quicker, but I want to go ahead and get it used to growing at that higher because I, I hear so many people doing this and this is something I already know I want to do. They get it going really thick right here and then they try and backtrack and grow it up and actually move their uh, beard line up. So I figured I might as well start off getting my initial beard and getting it to where I want it to be. So right here is where I want it to be. And so last time I lined it up, um, I brought it here and then I don't plan on touching it anymore, right? So I brought it here. Um, I don't plan on touching it anymore. And then my sideburn, I brought my sideburn from here. You can see where it's like thicker where I'm leaving this imprint with my nail and then I brought it out to here so that way it can just flow straight into it. And so this is what we're looking like. I'll get even closer. That was like a distance, but this is the strong side, right? Connections getting better down there, uh, filling in a little bit here, right? And you know, you all already knew that this side was stronger than a connection, which is why we call it strong side, soul patch, pretty stagnant. The hair is getting a little bit longer, but new hair is coming in right here. Not really. And then this side's getting a little bit better in that connection area. You can kind of see some veinless hairs. So even when I move my mustache up, you can see a little bit of, see, some veinless hairs there trying to really bring in that connection point. And then as we turn here, let me zoom in. As we turn, we see this here really still trying to connect right here, not getting too much, um, but closer to the sideburn. Let's get a zoomed out look closer to the side burn. We're not looking too crazy. So let's focus back in. So that's pretty much how I'm looking right now, you all. And I think ultimately long term, this routine that I'm doing is going to pay dividends because with minoxidil, I don't want to be on it too long. I just don't believe in putting um, unnatural stuff on my body. So I want to do that for at least amount of time as possible, right? And so I think this is actually going to work out to my advantage. If I'm only using it in the morning and I'm using a beard activator in the evening, what ultimately is going to end up happening, hopefully around the three or four month mark, I'll be able to completely X out minoxidil and only use the beard activator, only use my oils, and then just go ahead and strengthen up my hair on my face and get it used to those natural ingredients and don't get it so tied into the minoxidil. So that's 
what I'm going for. Sorry if I'm a little bit uh, lower energy right here. Like I said, start off with more of a serious moment. But guys, we're still getting to these gains. Um, as you know, there's more to life than just getting these gains. We gotta worry about social issues and stuff like that. Um, today is the day for voting in Georgia. So if you didn't do that, come on now. But uh, other than that, y'all comment down below what you all want to see next. A thermal roll. Um, I think I'm going to bring up a video and show you all how I do that next. And I need to get my fitness videos back out there. Y'all know I love calisthenics. I'm still doing it. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Termar Lawton, T-E-R-M-A-R-L-A-W-T-O-N. Make sure you're doing that. I post daily content, and we're really getting it going. Elegant Savagery Fam is going up on the ground. But... A little bit longer video. Just wanted to tell y'all where I was at. Let y'all know I'm good. And we're going to keep getting these gains. Yo, catch y'all next time.